Here in the Department of Forensic and Analytical Science, we work incredibly closely with the Metropolitan Police Forensic Services Directorate. So they come along to us and say, can we look into, into being able to pick up a bloody fingerprint? Can we look to see if we can get a fingerprint off a cartridge case? Can we check out this new method of doing things? Should we bring it in to policing or not? And this link's now been going for 20 years and just recently we've moved it from a memorandum of understanding to a strategic alliance because that's how well we work together. What I'm trying to do is to try to figure out if a finger mark in blood has the same detail, level of detail, as a reference print. This is a bloody mark and this is a reference print. And what I'm trying to do is compare the two, the reference mark and the bloody mark, and see how much of the detail that I have in the reference mark I can get in this mark. So the third, the third level detail for which I'm most, mostly interested is, for example, the location of pores. You see those white dots mm -hmm. on the black bits here? These are the pores, and their relative location is very important evidence. There's already work on fingerprints on firearms, so they can link suspects to actually, actually handling the, the firearm, for example, but taking it to a further step and uh, linking the suspect to actually loading the gun. So you have the fingerprints on the cartridges themselves. That way, combined with the evidence you have from the fingerprints on the firearm, you can have a greater evidential value. And I do this by uh, using antiquing fluid, so the antiquing fluid would, re would react to the metal of the cartridge and then uh, whatever fingerprints or marks on it will develop and would provide a more enhanced visualization of the fingerprints on the cartridge casing. What I'm trying to do is to deposit some fingerprints in blood in different surfaces. Uh, for example, here I have different types of tiles and some plastic, and I also use other surfaces such as a magazine, newspaper, cardboard, uh, plastic bags. And I'm going through each bloody mark to, to see and compare it with a reference print, which is made in ink, to see if um, the second level detail and the third level detail of a mark is repeatable in the bloody marks. Here, I've tried different drying times on different types of tiles. For example, here we have 40 seconds drying time. Here we have 50 seconds. Here is 30 seconds. Here again, 40 seconds. So I'm I'm examining each mark separately and compare it with a reference print to see how much of the detail I can get. So I'm looking at a new detection method for body fluids on surfaces and the areas where there's body fluid it will turn on the fluorescence. This technique could be used to detect multiple body fluids, for example semen, saliva, blood, um, all at the same time. 